this beautiful macaw. Yes, you. Hello. We have found a new home for her, and it's a friend of mine who already has three other blue and gold macaws. So we think she will be much happier with other macaws. Uh, not that she's not happy here, because she is, and she chatters away to us, and she takes food from our hands, and she comes out of the cage and all sorts. She's got lots of toys, but, and she's got company here with this little one. Um, yes, you. But uh, we just think she'll be much, much happier with other macaws. So she is going today to a place where there are other macaws. And um, also my friend is a bit of a bird expert. Um, so she's going to have the best care and the best of everything. We're very happy about it. Good to clean in the cage out, getting it ready. Getting all spick and span for a new home. Obviously, of course, that's a good thing. I've got my little watcher over there. Hello! Ah, she said hello. Did you hear that? I have bite gloves on which is parrot is nasty. You want bite on? You want bite on? Ow! Look, we're all spiking, no one really touched it yet. Face. <laughs> you, it's you, you're angry. So following up from the vet's appointment last week for Coco, she's doing amazing. It is lovely Esther. And that makes oh yeah. Look at that nozzles. Oh you got me all my Um she's doing amazing. She has been up and about the last few days after recuperation. Haven't you, my darling? You're having nice little snooze. Oh, look at her. Yes! Is that nice behind the ears? But yeah, she's been up and about all morning, walking around the paddock, haven't you, Bubs? I know that Esther's coming, isn't she? And you're all cosy. But she's doing amazing work. So, um, yeah, we've got the Christmas trees, just about to put another two in. I want to show you how amazing everyone is. They literally, it amazes me anyway, but they have stripped every single pine off it. I just love it. And it's really, really good for them as well. So I'm going to show you what they look like now. It's such a good way of um, the Christmas trees being used when uh, they're discarded by houses and stuff. You enjoying that, guys? So, um, is everyone getting involved? You enjoying that, Ron? Oh, Noodle, Mo, Finn, even Arlene. Go on, Arlene. They are absolutely loving it. Over here, we've got Freya. Lucien, they've just jumped on. I'm oh, sorry, Lucien. Gorgeous. Yeah. But they've absolutely stripped them, I love it. Here they are. So we're at Get to Know Animals, and um, they're very kindly, Donna here is very kindly uh, rehoming our macaw and our other little crimson rosella. Yep. Parrot, because uh, Donna's a bit of a bird expert and we're not. Um, and so while we're here, I thought I'd have a little play with the animals because this you can pay to come in here and meet all the animals. And this is look, these are rats, but this is a um, hairless sphinx rat. Sphinx rat, a hairless rat. How cute is that? Look. So 
people can come here and just meet all these animals, which is just incredible. And they're all rescuing me home. Yeah, and um, so Donna's very kindly. Well, we take animals for each other now. Yeah, yeah, we do swaps. Too, we do we? swaps, <laughs> and so we take things that Donna can't have, and she takes things that we can't have. Yeah, it's very cool to have lots of friends in the animal world. Yeah, because um, obviously we can't be home farm animals yes. and outside animals, and yeah. we're better at the and you're better at the birds and, and all the that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Between us, we'll save them all. We will. <laughs> yeah. We actually will. Good morning. Good morning. Careful, because she might nip. Yeah, they all might. Step up. Step up. Come on. Step up. Step. Step. No. Step up. Come here. Come on. Cool, you are so brave. Come on. Step up. Stop being nasty. Come on. Do you know how many parrot bites I've had? Have you? <laughs> Come on, me. You're really nice. Look, oh, I like that. Look, yeah. shutting her eyes, but. He's nice. He's nice. So, this is a hairless skinny pig. Skinny pig. How cute is that? That one's called Hippo. Well, you're called Hippo. Because you look like a little baby Hippo. <laughs> yeah. You look like a baby Hippo. That is huge. <laughs> How long is she? 20 foot long? Roughly. 35 kilos. Yeah. Oh my god. This skunk is twice the size of our skunks. He's enormous. Why are you so big? It's like he never stopped growing. It's like he just grew and grew and grew. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the BFG of skunks. Yeah. Mark finally braved it and held the skunk. Mark scared of animals. <laughs> Not great when he works on a right rescue centre. <laughs> Not all our skills in this train. <laughs> Mark is building. That's about it. Keep him rocking the skunk like it's a baby. <laughs> Look at the eyes. Oh. Hey, hello. As for Christy, or for biscuit. Yeah, then. Are you lovely? Is there one on my head that wants biscuit? Yeah. This is the heaviest snake ever. So when people come here, yep. can they come and hold this and touch yeah, this? Yeah, definitely. So as long as he's in a good mood, we always check what mood they're in first. And then if they're feeling friendly, then yeah, you can sit here in our handling area and have a cuddle with any of our snakes or a big cuddle. snakes. Just We've have a cuddle snakes, with, this, little with this little snake. Yeah. My he is so, I cannot tell you how heavy he is. <laughs> I can, anyway. I think he's 24. 24, 25 kilos. That's a lot of weight. So you wouldn't get him on easy jet. <laughs> <laughs> look, he's so big he's pulling the whole tree over, look, look, look. Sorry, that's rude. Look, 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 the whole tree's coming over. <laughs> Took me ages to design that. <laughs> so these sorts of snakes, and obviously not the venomous strike strikers, but these guys, are pretty easy to sort of read. They tell you very early if they don't want you around them. Yeah. Yeah. So rule of thumb, if they there's three, you got three modes: snaker in uh, feeding, like hunger mode, dormant mode, and um, inquisitive mode. We only take them out if they're in dormant mode, and they'd be sitting really still. We sort of stroke its head, and if it sort of goes to slither away from you, then we know it's okay to take out. But if it was to turn and look at us, we'd, we'd just leave it alone at that point. We mm -hmm. wouldn't take any risks. It's the opposite them. to trying to attract a girlfriend. The moment it gives you any attention, you just ignore them. <laughs> 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 so this is a, what's he called? Lichianus gecko. 
So it's a leech a gecko. Leechy, leechy gecko. And it's the most incredible animal. His feet are just amazing. They're so soft underneath. The feet are so, so soft. They look like socks my nan used to knit for. Oh, they're so it's worth cute. worth getting close up with his eyes. They're so prehistoric looking. Let me sit down on the floor. <laughs> it's as dangerous as a bee as well. That's all we've got to remember. Yeah, I would not care about the danger factor. It's what it is. So you've got to remember, she just thinks your hand is just a piece of train or log or rock. So as long as you're still... <sighs> Do you want to just touch her leg first? No, no, I don't want to touch her leg. Just put her on me. Hands and up, just stay still. Oh, 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 <laughs> You're telling oh. yourself to freak out. <laughs> with all you deal with. I can feel her. I can feel her on me. I can feel her on me. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't, like it. Don't, don't, don't leave it. You can do it. You can do it. She's look. She likes you. Oh my god. No. 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 It's all right. No. But deep breath. It feels all right. I'm yeah. sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. Just to let you know, they don't like human breath. Oh, yeah, actually, they really don't. They don't like the breeze or the wind. Yeah. I can't look down. You Neither can she, so she doesn't know she's on. She's gorgeous. She literally doesn't. She has no idea that so she's, she's on, on she your hand as opposed to a piece of wood. So well done, Jones. You've become a tree. All right. Now I'm trying not to breathe as well. So look, you, you can come breathe. to get to know animals, face your fears. We're going to start doing phobia Thursdays. <laughs> You're a test pilot for this, it works. <laughs> it's like when people say it's got eight legs, you say, yes, so is I don't talk about it. So is a family of four. Yeah, well, you don't cross the street when you see a family of four, do you? Had enough. I think you're calming Thank down you. though, you're getting used to it. Yeah, I am, but I can't look at her. No, no, oh, just get no, it off, just get it off. Your hands just, no, no, just, just, please just get it off, please get it off now. <laughs> please, Donna. <laughs> No, I am, but you just got to make her crawl on my hand real slow. Oh, no. Donna, please. No, Donna, yeah, please yeah. take it off. I have. Yeah, it's off. I can feel it on me, still. No, it's, it's off you. It's off. <laughs> <laughs> this is an alligator that gives no animals. An actual... Does she ever whip her tail a bit? Uh, she has done, yeah. Oh, I bet that tail could... Yes, it can, definitely. <laughs> yeah. No, Mark, don't wind her up on purpose. Yeah, right, yeah Mark, it's yeah. an alligator. Who's scared? It's actual massive alligator. Who's scary? Look at them teeth. Look at her I'm actually in heaven. <laughs>